Hi guys, it's Grace with Grace Gets Gastric and I am here today for another recipe video. So today I am going to show you how I make my pumpkin fluff, I guess I call it. It's basically like a pumpkin mousse, low carb, high protein, well, moderate carb, high protein uh, recipe. I do have the original recipe down in the um, description box, not the comment section. And I just want to make a quick note, the original recipe is lower carb than what I make and um, more keto friendly, for example. So if you are keto or you want to keep it a little bit lower carb, I do recommend using the, um, the recipe below. The big difference is I use light Cool Whip and the recipe, the original recipe um, calls for heavy whipping cream that you whip up yourself into a whipped cream. I have made it both ways. Um, uh, the whipped cream, homemade whipped cream version, um, is a little bit higher calorie and higher fat, which doesn't work as well for my personal macros, and I don't mind a little bit of carbs for a lower calorie trade-off personally. But you might be different, um, and it's totally up to you what you prefer to do. Like I said, both versions taste good in my opinion, um, and you can always add more sweetener if you're using the, uh, the whipped cream yourself, obviously, because it's not naturally sweet. But other than that, you can make everything else the same as I do. Again, a difference as well in the recipe below is um, I have more protein in mine. I add protein powder. I make it with um, Premier Protein. So you'll see how I make everything if you watch the video. But I just want to make a quick note about um, the substitution because mine does have a little bit more carbs because of the Cool Whip. Um, and if you wanted lower carb, you could um, just make your own homemade whipped cream with heavy whipping cream and it will be different macros, higher fat, higher calorie, but much lower carb. All right, stick around if you want to watch the video. I hope you enjoy. All right, I'm here today to show you how to make this protein uh, pumpkin whip. So to start, you're going to need some protein powder. The powder I have here is a pumpkin pie flavor, but you could use vanilla, you could use cinnamon, you could use whatever you want. Uh, then you want some pumpkin puree. You want to make sure this is just pumpkin, unsweetened, um, not pumpkin pie filling, just the puree. Uh, I've got a thing of the Caramel Premier Protein. You can use um, milk if you'd prefer or a different protein shake, but the Premier Protein is what's going to give it extra protein. Um, some sugar-free pumpkin, sorry, sugar-free pudding mix. I've got a vanilla one here. Um, I also like to use butterscotch, but I just didn't have it on hand. Um, some pumpkin pie spice. And then finally, some light Cool Whip. Um, you can use regular Cool Whip. You can use, as I mentioned in the um, intro, you could also use heavy whipping cream that you whip up yourself for a lower carb option. So that's everything, let's get started. All right, so this is a really easy recipe. You just mix everything together. So I'm starting with half of a can of that pumpkin puree. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take that Jello pudding mix uh, and dump all of that in there as well. Next, I'm going to take my protein powder and I'm just gonna add a full scoop of the protein powder in there. Then I've got the pumpkin pie spice. Uh, this calls for one and a half teaspoons. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one and a half teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice to the mixture. And then finally, the caramel premier protein. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in or dump that in and then give it a really good stir. So you just wanna mix everything together really well so that it's all, um, all the powder has mixed in with the pumpkin pie puree or pumpkin puree and the premier protein. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and add the Cool Whip. So I'm using two thirds of a container of Cool Whip, not super precise. Um, so about two thirds, uh, you can kind of add as much or as little as you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and give that one more really good stir. I'm being a little bit more delicate so that I keep things nice and fluffy. Um, but then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and put this in the fridge for a little bit too cool. You can see here I've got the cooled thing. It's about an hour. You can see it's kind of gotten fluffy. And I'm going to go ahead and just portion it out. So this makes uh, six 4.1 ounce um, portions. And here is the final product. So you can see here I've got six ramekins, each one filled with about 4.1 ounces of this pumpkin whip. Um, per serving, so for eat, for just one of those little portions, it is 134 calories, 9 protein, 3.6 fat, 16.9 carbs, 1.6 
fiber. So this is fine for my macros as a, an occasional treat, certainly better than uh, pumpkin pie. But like I said before, you can definitely reduce the amount of carbs and uh, it would up the fat if you used the um, whipped cream, homemade whipped creamed version. And yeah, there are other tweaks, of course, you can make as well to make it fit better within your personal macros. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in my next meal prep video.